Hello everyone, I am back and today I'm going to be showing you how to use your Sony Vegas to speed up your videos more than 12 times. If, you're, if you've used Sony Vegas any time before, you might know that you can't really speed anything up past 12 times. Now, most people's ways to get around this is to just re-render a bunch of times. However, that can cause quality to go down and it also takes a quite long time depending on how good your system is. So, we're going to start out. If you can see right where my mouse is, somewhere, well, I don't know, but the video that is recorded here is six frames per second because this is going to be sped up and I wanted the file size to be low, but because it's six frames per second, we don't want to match the media because then our output file will be at six frames per second, which we do not want. And because this is a time lapse, I can just have that track go bye-bye. But with this, we have this up here now. What I'm going to do is to save some work, I'm going to just get rid of some of this stuff. I will just delete these clips. I'm not sure what these short little clips are doing here, but I'll just get rid of them. And there we go. So we have our clip ready here. And so we are going to start out by speeding it up 12 times. So we are going to right click on it, go to properties and playback rate we want it to be four, which is as high as it goes. So right now, this is four times speed. And now, what we do is we go right click on it again, and we go insert slash remove envelope, and go to velocity. And here you see we have a little bar, and we can set it up to three times. So now it's three times four, which is 12. And these little marks that you probably won't be able to see that are right here and here, that signifies places where it's going to loop. So we want to... I haven't actually found a good way to snap to the loop. So what I generally do is I just go here, I play it, and then as soon as it loops back, I hit enter to pause it. And I just use the arrow keys to navigate back to the cut. I split and then I delete the rest of that. So here we have a clip that is sped up 12 times and that repeats only once. So what we would do with that is instead of exporting it and rendering it, which could take a while, I am going to just save as. So what we do here is I'll save it to my desktop. I'll save it as footage 12 times. And we want to save it as that. Vegas, and we don't want to copy the media with the project, unless of course these files are going to be moved around the source file that I used, which I believe was that one. So what we are going to do is we will save that. I believe it's saved. And we can open up a new project. And we can now go to our desktop, or the directory where you saved your Sony Vegas project, open up the file, drag it, and no, don't, don't double click it drag it into here and if we play this back it should be yeah you see it's still fast at 12 times speed but if you look whenever we go under properties it says that it isn't sped up this is handy because this file here is only about a few kilobytes so you don't need to keep re-rendering and re-rendering if you want to speed something up more than a hundred times so if we wanted to speed up something really, really, really fast, what we'll do is we will then do another 12. So it'll be 144 times. So we can do that. And then the same steps that we did before on this clip. However, if you have a video that had a whole bunch of different sections to it, um, like different clips, and then you saved it and you dragged it into here in the same way I did, then it'll merge everything into one continuous clip, which could be good, but it also might be bad if you wanted to input some transitions or titles directly between certain clips. So it 
give or take, but I'd rather do this than re-render. So now it is sped up to 144 times, and we'll see how this looks. As you can see, it's pretty fast, and if you look, the quality of the video, well, it's kind of hard to tell in the preview window, but the quality has not gone down at all. So that's about it. I don't want to make this video drag on, drag on too long, so this is how you speed up videos more than 12 times using Sony Vegas without rendering everything. So that's about it, and I will see you all next time.